Today we'll be talking about generational issues related to recovery from childhood to grandparenthood. I grew up in a family that had um, a lot of addictions, uh, physical addictions with abuse, um, alcohol abuse, and drug, drug abuse. I didn't know any other way of living because that's all I'd ever known. These are family illnesses. Everyone in the family is affected, whether they are the substance abuser, the parent, the child, the grandparent, everyone is affected by it. So when a kid is scared within the home, their body is recording everything that's happened. They're hearing it, they're seeing it, they're feeling it. But their thinking mind is not really making a good narrative out of it. It's not making sense out of it and putting it into the context of their overall life. People don't recover overnight. It's a process. It's like peeling an onion, layers and layers, and the layers of family, the layers of trauma, the layers of positive possibilities, the layers of future are all in that onion. And it's just important to stay in it, stay in that recovery process and believe in the hope. Don't go down alone, take all your friends with you. So get the help you need, which means sometimes you do need to have professional help. And many families see that as a negative, but it's, it's important to rescue the family. Look at your liabilities, look at your assets, and make that decision to help your family. I'm definitely shifting the family pattern of abuse um, from the experiences I know that my wife and I both had with our parents to what our children and now grandchildren will have with us.